So, let's talk about it, guys. The training pack glitch, which of course always happens in Madden, I feel like, uh, where EA Sports messed up. So, if you guys it were not on this morning, pretty much what happened was training packs were absolutely glitched. Um, if you pulled them, you pretty much pulled god tier pulls. Like, you were pretty much Xerxes on steroids when it came to making good pulls. Um, there were people who were pulling non-stop. I think it was Fred Warner limited time. I mean, you pretty much... It was like, if you pull a stra white strategy item, your luck is so freaking bad, you need to go back to grade school. Like, it was that bad, guys, okay? Everybody was pulling everything amazingly good i was sleeping my in my race car bed with my xerxy blanket and I, I i i did not make any coins off of it so i'm actually disappointed but everyone else was making crap ton of pools if you pull them now by the way you are actually going to lose coins and it's not like oh well you know the odds are no i mean literally ea sports made these now at like a two percent pool rate because how much people were actually pulling amazing cards from them. So yes, the market right now, I think it's a little bit more adjusted and back to what it should be. But this morning, this market was absolutely destroyed. I mean, again, like I said, when you have all those people pulling all those amazing good cards right away, unless EA Sports just goes, all right, you know what, ban hammer on everyone, then there's just simply, they fix it and they hope the market truly just adjusts itself over time. And it did. It definitely did. I mean, you look at the price of some of these cards. They're kind of a lot better than they were, let's be honest, a couple hours ago. Now, of course, with that being said, though, um, what's called the market, because EA Sports fixed the training packs, it made them back to, you know, not impossible to pull something good, but made it so that pulling something good is like you have a 1% chance of doing it. It definitely helped out a lot because you got to think a lot of people who made all these coins from all these cards right from this glitch probably then has spent all day trying to open up training packs again, making even more coins and losing all the coins that they made. That's another reason why training packs right now are like a 2 percentile. If you pull them, you're going to lose coins no matter what. Because what EA wants now is everyone who did make coins to go right back into the training packs, seeking they're going to make coins again, and then lose all their coins. So those packs right now, if you're a buy standard, instant buy standard, you did nothing with this training pack, do not open up training packs. Because EA Sports now is trying to get back all those coins that was lost, okay? So... Please do not open up training packs right now. But at this moment in time, though, we talked about earlier the limited time cards that did come out. And again, yes, uh, they're 97s or not 98s. There was a 98 overall UL, though. I'm sorry, all ULs are 98s. Why am I? I'm bugging today, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's Michael Vick Day, okay? Uh, the limited time cards that did come out today is Marquise Brown Pouncey. I keep thinking that he's an older player. Like, I know mentally, like, no, this guy is brand new. He just came out, but he just seems so older to me. Um, he is, of course, the limited time card today, and he's around 520,000 coins. So, again, like I said, if you're going to open up packs, just don't open training packs for him. If you want to open up packs for him, you, you just open up regular UL packs, okay? Because you're going to lose every single time if you try to open up packs for him with the, without, you know, opening up normal packs. <laughs> you're going to lose coins. Um, nonetheless, so let's go ahead and go to the UL sets. Because I looked at this earlier, but yeah, so the Michael Vick set, why is he the 96? I pulled the 96 in the video earlier, actually. Um, okay, so it's two 96s. So it's what, 400,000 coins here? And then what are the 92s? These are currently around almost 200,000 coins too, okay? So it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this is like a milli right here. It's less than a milli. It's like around 900,000 coins. And then these, okay, that makes sense. So he's around like 1.1. He's actually very freaking dirt cheap. I expected him to be more coins just because I expected the 96 Vic to be like a crazy value. But he definitely was not. Now EA Sports did put out a pack today that gave you two 96 pluses. Plus, you got a 92 plus, which I think a lot of people opened. It was 35 bucks, and that definitely helps you out if you wanted to complete the Michael Vick set. You got literally two 96s. So, 
as long as you pull one of those 96s as the quarterback, as cornerback, Vic, then you could complete the Michael Vick set. Very easy, very simple. So, um, definitely will say, you know, I like that kind of aspect that EA does where they do release bundles or packs that, you know, brings down the price of some of these cards. Because, let's be honest, that was not the case and there was no packs like that and it was just UL packs and Michael Vick would be like, 3 million coins. But because they released that in the game, it kept down the price tag of the of the card a tad bit so you can actually get the player. He's still a milli, but a milli is a lot better than what he could have been if, you know, that 96 overall cornerback Vic was absolutely freaking way too expensive, right? I think it would have been like half a milli alone. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Definitely interested. How much coins do you personally make off trading packs today? Um, and if you are haven't made any, don't open them. Peace out, guys.